hey guys welcome back to iXoft original and today also is another exciting edition and i would love to show you the final output of the antivirus software which of course we're going to build so i have the project here you can see all the screens are available there are there has been some updates some upgrades and i want to take you through how this antivirus system works and if you really want to get this software, um, this full source code for this software, um, the link is being given to you in the description below. You can check it out. So let's see how the software actually works. Great, so um, technically this is how the software looks like and um, by default we added these things. So this is going to do a smart scan. This is going to do a full system scan or you just choose a certain location to scan on your computer. This is going to choose a specific file to scan. So let me give you one example. Maybe when I click on this scan now, it is going to appear here. This is the scanning center. I can actually choose a directory to scan great and also this is um, the virus chest when I click on this it's going to show the virus chest the virus chest contains the virus chest and then the quarantine I mean I can choose any of them there and yeah so if there is any problem I just click on this fix now it's going to redirect me back there great so with a protection this is a protection section you can just click here to turn off uh, you know the domain network mode and then a private network mode you can actually turn it on as well that looks awesome now let's see the privacy policy same thing you have some privacy um, and security settings which of course you can um, it's actually working fine and you will get a manager section that is a section which was which of course with just one click you can uninstall any application you want to uninstall from your computer if it is being infected by virus and you can't uninstall it you can actually use this um, system to uninstall it with just one click now this is where you see the um, the results of every scan section you will do and this is the certain section for the whole system right here now you can enable runtime scanning, you can enable firewall and you can launch on Windows Startup. It's actually working fine. And this is a default directory, which of course you can choose a different directory. Like example is when I choose maybe um, my C directory, maybe my programs files 86. This directory is going to be a default directory, which of course is going to scan my, my system, my um, software is going to scan maybe i can decide to say okay scan everyone uh, they see scan everyone uh, has been started and i have a counter here which is counting down from one hour uh. exactly one hour uh, the software itself will scan this directory just as i declared right here if you want to turn it off just click on this then you're good to go now with this system you can actually select any of the colors if only you turn this on use color theme this really works fine it's like uh, changing the whole system theme to a different theme so i can go ahead and then say okay i want to choose a different color for the whole software so i can actually go in for this dark violet um dark violet and this is the secondary color that is for this base color so i can choose a different color it can be a cyan and I can choose a default color that is um, this color you see right here the selection color you see right here um, I can choose that selection color to be any color I want to use and this is a home color so a home color too I can choose maybe dark blue now this is for labels colors I can decide to choose maybe um, um, I can decide to, to choose you know a color for maybe a dark orange for um, all the labels of this project if you want to set it to default just click on this and it will show you the colors which will be redirected back to so just click on this save and boom there you go everything is set up to how we wanted it to be so it actually depends on you how you want it to be I can actually restart this 
and the system still recognizes my template i used it recognizes my system i used just works fine you know actually just works fine so there you go you can see everything seems right everything seems perfect and you can see the four color i mean the text color all of them changed to a different color and it's it's really really good you know so if you really want to change the colors to a default color just click on this it changes everything to the default color then you just set the um, text color to uh, any color you think you want to choose maybe white any color then you are good to go so you have all these color listed right here just right here for you and you are good to go so just click on save let's reset this to the default color and yeah there you go you are good to go so we can actually reset this and automatically it will return back to its normal state just as we started the whole project for it to be now let's tackle um how the system actually works when it comes to the virus section so in this case i'm just going to go to virus total and i have virus total here i have a folder which of course i want us to scan these uh this folder contains two files so technically we're going to scan these two files to see the threat behind this file so you can see it is a file folder from my desktop virus list so i'm just going to scan this first document that is a new document excel worksheet so I just drag and drop it here there you go so you see this is a very clean one there is no problem here so meaning um this software doesn't have or this file doesn't have any virus which is being infected now let's see the reflector crack version so I'll just drag and drop this here whoa it has 28 security vendors meaning this file has a virus so um, with the help of the software with the help of the antivirus software how can we start so we can just go ahead and then say we want to scan the directory and remember the folder is on the desktop and we have it to be virus list right so we have a folder called virus list remember there you go we have the virus list right here so just click on ok and there you go you know scan has been completed there were two virus detected um, you know, you have to do the changes. Two files were scanned and one file was detected just right here. So you can see the exe file, which is the reflector, was detected as a threat. And you can see here, this file was clean. Now, um, I can go to this results and you can see the affected file is here. Quarantine doesn't have any file. So I can actually decide to quarantine this file. If I don't want to delete it, can just click on select all, say quarantine. So you see threat quarantine su successfully. And now it is part of my quarantine here. Well, let me, let me show you how this thing works. And now the virus is not in the virus list anymore. But inside my project, I mean inside my main directory, I have a quarantine folder, which all the quarantine files will be moved to so let me give you one example what if i restart this application when i restart this application the whole application it will still fetch for the quarantine files unless i want to delete it so technically if i want to delete the quarantine files i can just go to the results quarantine there you go you see we still have the reflector here so i can just say select all then let's check about um let's check the quarantine folder see we have the reflector here but now when i just click on delete as recommended click on this you see boom it is deleted and this runs in a real time and a lot of things carries out with this if i really want to uninstall something i can go to the manager maybe i have something i want to uninstall yes of course i can i can actually do that just right from there just click on any of them click on the uninstall button and it's actually going to uninstall completely from your computer without leaving any trace all right guys so this is the project and as you can see it's very 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 good and very very interesting project 
well on our next video or on our next class we're going to see how we can start building up this project if you don't want to wait for this project look below the link in the description you will find the source code there you can just download it from there all right thank you very much um prepare yourself if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel please do well to subscribe to my youtube channel so that you won't be missing any upcoming episode or whatsoever no plugin was used for this project so you don't have to think about any plugin and also i i i will be tackling you know the most important part of this so n not all of the features um i gave here or i demonstrated here will be done from this course i'm very sorry to tell you this but the major ones like scanning detecting threads quarantine the threads you know um deleting the threads um doing a whole lot of things that one too can be applicable and also one thing before i go if you insert pen drive is going to detect the pen drive you've inserted or the removable device you've inserted and it's going to scan it by default if any file is being inserted all right thank you very very much guys um see you on our next lesson have a nice day